Welcome to the 2024 622 Education Foundation Award of Excellence. I'm Kelly karwaski Reichel, and this is Doug Huntley, and we are representing the 622 Education Foundation. We're excited to celebrate and honor this year's Award of Excellence recipients, along with their families, nominators, and chosen mentors. First, a little bit of background on our organization. The 622 Education Foundation was founded in 1996 with the mission of enhancing the quality of education for students in Independent School District 622. We are a nonprofit organization separate from the district, but dedicated to supporting it. Our 622 Education Foundation has an amazing board of dedicated volunteers who have helped put on this event. Could all the foundation members in the audience please stand? Some of them might be by the desserts in the back. Our, our board is made up of 622 alumni and staff, business owners, parents, and community members at large, all volunteers with a commitment and passion for the students in the district, 622. Thank you, board members. We appreciate your time and efforts. Yeah, thank you so much. Our primary fundraising event is a Click for a Cause virtual auction each November. And our, we are also very grateful for the community donors that contributed directly to support our mission throughout the year. Donations support this Award of Excellence program, our granted teacher grant program, and our angel fund that helps 622 students and families facing financial hardship. Through the angel fund, our foundation works with social workers from each of the schools to recognize the needs of students in our district. A great example this winter was the disbursement of 146 pairs of winter boots and nearly 400 winter gloves to help kids stay warm when going to and from school. For more information on how to donate and get involved in our foundation, visit 622educationfoundation.com. And now, on to the Award of Excellence program, why we're here tonight. This award was created to honor graduates who have excelled in the characteristics of achievement, community, courage, imagination, integrity, and resilience. It celebrates the journey behind the achievement, the challenges overcome, the desire to make a positive difference, and the character to do so in a way that inspires others. To all the award recipients tonight, we are so very proud of you. Thank you for all you have given to our district. Now we encourage you to stay on your path of excellence and step into your future as proud 622 alumni who make a difference in a world that so desperately needs it. And now we would like to introduce our Superintendent Christine Tucci Osorio for her message this evening. Let's give a warm welcome to Superintendent Osorio. Good evening. I'm so happy to be here tonight. And as I have said at our earlier event at Tartan High School, I just want to say nine years ago when I was first being hired as the superintendent for 622 schools. The very first phone call I ever got was from Kelly's dad, Stan Karwaski, who was then the mayor of Oakdale, Oakdale School, Oakdale, um, the city of Oakdale, has now become the, one of the uh, Washington County commissioners. Stan called me and said, Christine, now that you're part of our community, are you gonna join our, our 62 Education Foundation? And I was like, sure, what is the 62 Education Foundation? I wanna tell you about that organization. Our 62 Education Foundation is basically a nonprofit organization that supports our 62 learners. And for many of you who may have been part of a elementary parent-teacher organization of sorts, we have PTOs, PTAs, or if you're from Cowan, PTGs. Uh, we have a lot of different acronyms for that. For those of you who may have been part of those organizations earlier on in your children's lives, as you went on to middle and high school, you may have joined booster clubs because that's what's very prominent with regard to clubs, sports, activities, what have you. And for many of our families, the 62 Education Foundation is a place to connect yourself to part of that legacy. Continuing on as a parent advocate, as a community advocate, and I wanna just 
make a plug right now. If you haven't thought about joining our 62 Education Foundation, you don't have to be a parent or a grandparent. You can even live outside of our school community. But it's a place that values public education and they want to promote the needs of public education students. And as I am a member of our 62 Education Board, I hope you will all consider doing the same, especially if you have kids graduating right now. And, and it's a great opportunity to stay connected to the organization and, and, and remain an advocate for public education. At the same time, I want to just acknowledge the work that has happened within our 62 Education Foundation community. There was a time some years ago where we would acknowledge the top 10% of 62 graduates. And this organization realized that there's a greater community to be acknowledged within our education graduate spectrum. So instead of just focusing on the top 10% of graduates, our Education Foundation has decided to focus on all of the gifts and talents of our graduating class and not simply focus on the top 10% academically, but also focus on those who have given back to our community. So we obviously want to recognize those who are top 10% graduates but we also want to recognize those who are giving back to our community, those who are tutoring younger people in society, in our communities, people who are reaching out to do work in community service, right? Those community service opportunities are super important to recognize, as well as those who are lifting up younger generations behind them. And I really want to commend our current 62 Education Foundation because they are focusing on not just those who are the top 10% of graduates who are without question succeeding in every element of life, but those that are actually giving back to our communities and not just through high achievement in academics, but also touring people who are younger than them mentoring others in our community, giving back and doing community service projects within our society. And I just want to thank our Education Foundation for really rethinking what matters in society. And so for those of you who are parents here tonight, your children are not just the top achieving kids in society right now. They are kids who are also giving back to society, giving back to our community, and making a difference not only for their high school colleagues among them, but also for society at large. And I just want to thank our 62 Education Foundation for really acknowledging that. It's a very big shift in what we used to acknowledge. And for that, I'm really grateful. And so without further ado, let's take it away and let's hear about our amazing graduates. Thank you. Thank you, Christine. We always appreciate your kind words and advocating for our foundation. And I think I, bought, I got that same phone call about the same time you did from my dad, Stan. So asking to join this board. So if you're looking to join the board, Stan will call you. Um, he's in the audience. <laughs> out there. No, I'm just kidding. So um, anyways, we are now would like to introduce our North student in 2024 Award of Excellence recipient, Christina Alderson, up to the stage to say, share a couple words. So let's give Christina a big welcome. Hello there. Friends, family, my fellow peers, we are gathered here to congratulate students on their nomination 
and award for the Award of Excellence. This award is given to those in high regard for being positive standouts in North High and showing commendable qualities of achievement, courage, community, integrity, imagination, and resilience. It is especially honorable to be standing with all of you, considering the challenges we have faced in recent years. When we first arrived at high school, we were amid the pandemic, isolated in our homes with only communication being with a screen. Along with that, we were in a very polarized time of civil unrest with social turmoil taking full force, yet we've kept pushing forward. As we entered another school year, we encountered threats against our school and community, loss of loved ones, classmates, and even our teachers, yet we have kept pushing forward. We have had new technologies introduced to us that have changed concepts of learning and our mindset, yet we've adapted and kept pushing forward. Throughout all of our struggles, throughout all of our new tasks and responsibilities that past generations of students have not faced, we've kept moving forward, trying to adapt, change, and show the world that we do have what it takes. These past few years have pushed us to our limits, but we have stayed together nonetheless. We have contributed to our community through our hard work and effort in school and the extracurriculars we partake in. Whether it be sports, debate, the arts, or community service, we have found new ways to express ourselves and connect with others. We stand here tonight as an accomplishment of these efforts, but our lives aren't over yet. As we move on to our adult lives, we must keep pushing forward, no matter how dire things may be. We will all go on different paths. Some of us will join the military, some of us will become the next generation of teachers, and some of us will go on to create new media and technology. We will all encounter new challenges and new problems, but we must keep going, keep pushing forward. We've dared to push through these past four years despite the struggles and never back down for the challenges. The world will not stop for us, so we will show we will not stop for it. We will show we are ready to take on these problems and improve our world for the better with our ideas and our dreams. We will show, as North High Polars, that we are up for the challenge, and we will stand for what is right and we will fight for it. We won't stop when we're tired. We won't stop when we think it's too hard. We will keep pushing forward, because if we don't, who will? We have shown we won't stop when the going gets tough, and tonight is one of the many awards to celebrate that progress. That is what I want to leave with you, Award of Excellence recipients. Keep pushing forward, don't give up. Keep going for your friends, your loved ones, and yourself. To bring the resilience, courage, integrity, imagination, and life you've shown to North and the world. I believe you all do amazing things, as you have shown me and everyone in this community. I will wish you all luck on your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you, Casina. Those are such wonderful words and inspire, inspiring message. And now we'd like to invite Keith Reynolds, North's 12th grade assistant principal, up to the stage to say a few words. Mr. Reynolds? Hi, good evening. I'm Keith Reynolds. I'm the 12th grade assistant principal. Um, this is one of my favorite nights of the entire school year. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to be involved in this event for many years. I've even been lucky enough to come up here to this podium a couple of times and give a speech, although I do recall having more hair the last couple of times I've spoken. Um, again, we've come together tonight. We're here to recognize and celebrate the excellence of our student winners. The students here tonight now become part of a long legacy as we add their names to the tradition of excellence that this award represents. All of you have achieved at a remarkable level. In doing so, you have distinguished yourselves even amongst your distinguished peers, and you truly represent the best of what we hold dear here at North High. So tonight, the main purpose, we stop, we pause, and we say, nice job, congratulations, good job. Thank you, we are so proud. Of course, there is more to tonight than a simple recognition of individual accomplishment. There are mentors here, there are family here. You guys have brought friends, relatives, and supporters here. That's because excellence almost never happens in a vacuum, and none of you got here by yourself. You had love, you had support, you had guidance, you had inspiration, you received tons of encouragement over the years. Some of that encouragement probably came with warm and fuzzies attached, and some probably came with a fair dose of frustration as well. Trust me, all that support, all that encouragement, 
It came from pure love and pure hope for your success. So tonight, students, turn to your friends, to your relatives, to your mentors, and we thank them. They brought you here. They helped you get here. Seriously, take a moment and thank them. And just as excellence is rarely achieved in a vacuum, it also can't grow or exist very long in a vacuum. To live and grow, excellence must have a purpose. It must have a direction. So for me, this night has always been about a third thing. For me, quite frankly, it is literally a plea. It is a plea for you to keep growing, to find a direction, to find a purpose, to apply and grow this excellence that you have achieved. As was mentioned earlier, soon you guys will be in charge here. You'll be up here making speeches. You'll be the teachers. You'll be the superintendents. You'll be the board of directors. You will be the leaders. And what we are asking you is nothing less than to save the world. You have shown us what you can do, right? You've shown us what's inside of you. Standing here right now, I know that it is your resiliency, your imagination, your courage, your integrity, your love for community, your ability to achieve at the highest levels, the very things that this award represents, that is exactly what this world needs right now. You are the best of the best of the class of 2024. You are our best hope for a good future, and we are counting on you. Tonight, good luck, congratulations, job well done. Thank you so much, Keith. And now on to the rest of the Award of Excellence. But before we showcase the amazing tribute video submitted by your chosen mentors, we want to thank those who nominated the recipients tonight. Could everyone in the audience who nominated a student please stand up? We appreciate all the time you devoted to recognizing these wonderful young adults. Nominations are the heart of this program and anyone can nominate a graduating student. So please consider doing so in the future as well. Thanks, nominators. We would now like to bring up North's High School Principal, Kevin Wolf. Please join me in showing our appreciation to Principal Wolf. Good evening, everyone. Seniors, how you doing? Seniors, how you doing? Wow, all right. I must be thinking about that T-Wolves game coming up here. Uh, I am not going to, I'm going to be very brief, I'm not going to ask you to save the world, as Mr. Reynolds did. Um, but uh, we are celebrating 55 uh, really impressive young adults here tonight for a variety of reasons, and we'll, we'll hear more about that in a second. I have earned their place in the spotlight. So. Uh, like Mr. Reynolds, I really enjoy this event and this time of year where we celebrate in a number of different ways. A handful of you are here on Monday for the Senior Awards, and um, we have more to come. And, and of course, two weeks from actually tonight, we have what we're all waiting for, uh, graduation at Aldrich Arena. So I'm um, looking forward to that. Before I jump into the program and we show the video, just a few thank yous. Another thank you to the 622 Foundation. We appreciate your partnership. We certainly appreciate all the work that goes into tonight's event. So thank you. I have to say, uh, give a shout out and say uh, thank you to my admin team. We got Mr. Reynolds, Mr. Drummond. Maybe put the lights on, make them show themselves back there. Ms. Kwame, Mr. Friedman, I'd like to thank them. And my, and my boss, Ms. Nita, in the back of the room as well. Um, Uh, and for the parents, family, and honored guests in the room, thank you for your support that you've given your children and your seniors. They certainly couldn't have done it without you. And finally, the reason we're here tonight, the seniors. Um, like Mr. Reynolds alluded to, and uh, our superintendent alluded to, many of you have finished the top of your class, but you've also done so much more. So we appreciate you. Uh, that's why you're here tonight, and thank you for leading the way uh, for the North community. All right, so now it's time to celebrate 
our 55 North seniors and their mentors. So students, here's just a little bit of instruction. Students, when your name is read, please stand uh, so we know who you are. And audience, please hold your applause until the end of the video so we can hear the mentors. Um, here we go. Are we ready? Casina Alderson. I'm Joe Sims, North High teacher and knowledgeable coach, speaking out for Casina Alderson. Casina, okay. congratulations on this honor. You really deserve it. You are a person who develops community in so many ways. Uh, you show that through your commitment, through your attention to detail, through your inclusion of others. I'm so proud of you, and I wish you all the best in the future. Emilio Alvarez. Hi, I'm Taryn Leal. I am Emilio's, I was Emilio's 11th grade English teacher. He's a very strong English student. He has really good reading comprehension and writing skills. He was involved in a lot of school activities like NHS, soccer, AVID. Um, I always appreciated his willingness to participate in class, especially when no one else wanted to answer the question. <laughs> Uh, he's a great all-around student, and I wish him the best in all of his future endeavors. Amelia Anderson. Hi, my name is Rob Murphy. I've had the opportunity to be Amelia's soccer and varsity track coach. She is an amazing young woman who will do amazing things in the future. Her integrity is something that both adults and students around her can see and feel and understand and that brings those people up around her. She's gonna do amazing things. I can't wait to see what happens in her future. Benjamin Bangura. Jenna Brown. Hi, I'm Jennifer Larevere, and I'm honored to have been named as mentor to Jenna Brown. Um, I first met Jenna when she was a sophomore in my Spanish three class at North, and then again junior year she was with me when she took college in the school's Spanish. Um, Jenna has just been an incredible student, very hardworking, conscientious, just an all-around delight and wonderful addition to our community here at North. Congratulations, Jenna. Annabelle Carlson. My name is Kate Leiden and I'm here tonight with Annabelle Carlson. I know Annabelle from a uh, class. She's in my CIS Exploring the Teaching Profession class and my Child Development 1 and 2 classes this year. Annabelle is a great asset to our community. She volunteers tons of hours through NHS and in my CIS Exploring the Teaching Profession class. Annabelle, I wish you best of luck becoming an elementary school teacher. Best wishes. Taylor Chapman. Hi, my name is Jared Miller. I am the pianist here at North High School and I am one of Taylor Chapman's music teachers. I am incredibly honored to get to talk about Taylor. They are one of the most hardworking and dedicated students that I've had the pleasure of working with. It has been really wonderful these last four years to get to see them grow as a human, a musician, and a leader in the music hallway. Um, good luck. Taylor, and I'm so excited to see what the future holds for you. Lauren Collins. I'm Jennifer Cook. I was Lauren's French 3 and CIS teacher. Lauren's a conscientious student who participates in class and is always so personable with me. She was a superstar and got an A in CIS French, which is no joke. During a missions trip, she got interested in Spanish and has started studying Spanish on her own. Lauren, je te souhaite un très bel avenir et il faut rester en contact, s'il te plaît. Rachel Collins. My name's Sarah Hineker. I've known Rachel Collins since she was back at Maplewood Middle School, just a little sixth grader, and I've had the pleasure to get to know her as well at North High School. I see her drive to do well, her drive to create connections between people around her, it's been my pleasure to see all this happen. In, my, in the words of one of my favorite characters on Parks and Recreation, Leslie Nope, 
Go find your team, my friends, and get to work. Brevin Conway. Hi, everybody. My name is Erin Naughton, and I am here as Brevin's mentor this evening. Brevin, over the last four years here at North, you have shown resiliency and courage by continuing to show up when things get hard and learning how to advocate for yourself. I've been overjoyed to see the progress that you have made, not only as a student here, but also as a person. The future holds big, amazing things for you, and I cannot wait to see what you accomplish. Just know that I'm always in your corner if you ever need some words of encouragement and congratulations. To the rest of you award recipients, way to go. Be proud of yourselves. I'm proud of you. Austin Deegan. My name is Mr. Moran and I'm here to talk about Austin Deegan. I've had Austin in computer integrated manufacturing, electronics and robotics classes, which dealt with design work, fabrication and coding, and as part of our robotics club, in which he led our programming team over the past couple of years. Austin has done well in his academics in providing leadership in building robots for Team 2501. His innovations and ability to pass on knowledge have been invaluable. It goes without saying, but he will be missed. I wanted to wish Austin and all 2024 Award of Excellent recipients well as you progress into the next chapter of your lives. Della Domenia. Hi, Melissa Mandel from North High School, and I'm here with Della tonight. And Della, it's been such a pleasure being your teacher over the past three years. You are truly an inspiration to everyone around you. Your commitment to academic excellence, volunteer work, and doing what is right is truly inspiring. As you prepare to graduate, I wish you continued success in all your future endeavors. You have shown us that with hard work and determination, anything is possible. Congratulations to you and all of the Award of Excellence recipients. Abiso Faisa. My name is Mike Knudsen and I was Abiso's AP Human Geography teacher when he was a ninth grader. Um, Abiso is one of the most um, intelligent students I've ever met. Uh, he has an intense drive and the curiosity to know things um, that is unique among his generation. I look forward to everything he ultimately accomplishes in life and hope to be some small part of that. Congratulations to all the award winners tonight. Gia Foster. Hi, my name is Becky Liegeld and I'm here today to congratulate Gia Foster. Gia has worked for me for a few years at the Urgency Room um, and I've known her since she was a little girl. Um, she does incredible work for us and we've been so grateful to have her. I know her peers and patients alike appreciate everything she does every time she's working. Uh, congratulations, Gia. I wish you the best. Congratulations to all the 2024 recipients. Graham Freeman. Hello, I'm Coach Lund with the North High Baseball Program. I nominated Graham Freeman for the Award of Excellence. Graham Freeman is the captain of the baseball team and has went through numerous trials through his four-year career as a baseball player. Graham has been nominated for multiple awards on the baseball field, but most importantly, Graham carries himself with high integrity and carries himself on the baseball field that deserves this award of excellence from the North High community. Abigail George. Hi there, my name is Taylor Broussard. I am a special education teacher here at North. I am also the girls varsity coach for soccer and I have been coaching Abigail for a numerous of years um, and know her family through the community as well. She is amazing in every way. She has been a leader for us ever since she started out with us and I admire the most about her is her ability to never give up and also take the feedback to continuously get better and grow. Um, and it's amazing for a young woman to continue to do that and to succeed the way that she has within the community as well as in the school and on the field through soccer and other endeavors that she has done. Um, yeah, she's amazing and I'm so happy for her. And good luck with everything that you do. Annika Hagberg. Hi, my name is Vance Lava, and I've been fortunate to have Annika in my AP United States history class and being her pole vault coach for the last three years in track and field. As a student, Annika embodies qualities like curiosity, tenacity, optimism. Her commitment to her classes and determination have helped her achieve some really high academic standards. Post-graduation, Annika will be pursuing a bachelor's in the STEM field, hopefully going on to become a dentist with some potential specialization. So good luck, Annika, and all of it. 2024 graduates. 
Casey Hanlon. My name is Madison and I am Casey Hanlon's older sister. I think Casey's most admirable traits are her joyfulness and how genuine she is. Casey walks through life with so much joy it's contagious. She also is just the most real, reliable, genuine person I know. She inspires me every day to be more like her and I'm so proud to be her older sister. Casey, I wish you the best of luck in Duluth. I'm so excited to see where life takes you and I'm so happy I get to be with you on this journey. Good luck to you and to everyone else. Kaylin Harris. Hi, my name is Tony Pierce Sands and I am honored to be a mentor to Kaylin Harris. When Kaylin came in, when I first met her, she was a beautiful little young dancer to grow to be this amazing artist. And she is an excellent academic prowess for her future and her artistry. And I wish all of you the same in your communities to be leaders and amazing, excellent artists and creative thinkers. Thank you so much. Michaela Hesley. Hi, my name is Kim Alswager, and I have been Michaela Hesley's choir director for the past four years. Michaela, it has been so fun to watch you grow into the leader, the performer, and the person that you are today. You've already shared your gift with so many people throughout your years in high school, and you have such a gift to share with the world, not just in your music, but in who you are as a person. Thank you for being the kind and positive leader that you've been, and for being an example to all of the students in the choir. And thank you for all of the fun memories and the laughs in the choir room and for the music. I'm so proud of you and I can't wait to see what you accomplish in the future. Ashley Horton. Hey, it's Mr. Graham from John Glenn Middle School where I met Ashley Horton, the student we're highlighting today about six years ago. The first day I met her, she had a smile that lit up the whole school. She has an amazing heart, a huge heart. She's always looking out for those she truly cares about. Um, on top of all those great qualities and characteristics, she's also an amazing athlete, and I love to watch her perform in basketball, track, whatever she sets her mind to. Um, Ashley, as you go off into your future, I wish you nothing but the best. I know you'll make the most out of every opportunity you're given. You have a great support staff and a great family backing you up, and I'll be there with you every step of the way, and I can't wait to see what happens. Aria Johnson. Hey Aria, Mr. P here. Congratulations on everything you've achieved academically and also um, musically here in District 622. Fusion Drumline has been incredibly thankful to have you um, as one of our supporting team leaders and the bands here in 622 are better because of your presence, your leadership, and also the community that you've created to create a fun, awesome, and, and uh, never a dull moment type of atmosphere. So thank you for everything you do and best of luck to everything that you are doing in your future. Billy Joe Kiefer. Michael Kong. Hi, my name's Haley Fingelson. I know Michael Kong through Trio Upward Bound as he's one of our amazing seniors. His most admirable attribute is definitely his desire to achieve and just his achievements overall. He is such a hardworking young man and I know he's going to do great things in college and after college. Michael, just remember, no matter a situation's outcome, it's a learning experience. You've got this, best of luck. Isabella Lamb. Hi, I'm Taryn Leal. I was Izzy's 11th grade English teacher and not only is Izzy very gifted in English skills, she's a really strong reader and writer and speaker. Uh, she also demonstrates leadership qualities. She takes her education seriously but still has a really good sense of humor. She's very involved in the North High community, especially in theater and choir. Um, and I always appreciated her insightful contributions to the English classroom. So thank you, Izzy. And I know you'll do awesome up at UMD. Go Bulldogs. <laughs> Madison Lampy. 
Hello, my name is Darla Armstrong and I'm one of Maddie's teachers. I am also one of her co-advisors for National Honor Society. I've had the privilege of getting to know Maddie the last couple of years, especially this year in AP Biology. Maddie is a student that brings out the best in others and she reflects not only on herself, but others as well. She has a great eye for design and a great imagination. Maddie has worked both with uh, show choir and theater drama. In show choir, she's fixing the outfits, theater and drama, she's creating them. Maddie is a hard worker and a goal setter. I look forward to what she she's going to accomplish in her future. Good luck. Ava Lang. Hi, I'm Paula Clegg and I'm Ava Lang's ceramics teacher. Throughout the time I have worked with Ava, I have been impressed with her persistence and imagination. I love seeing all of the creative ideas she comes up with. Ava, I wish you all the best in your future endeavors and I can't wait to see all the things you accomplish. Cheyenne Lee. I'm Shannon McCarthy and I've had the honor of having Cheyenne Lee for two years in my AVID class in middle school. Cheyenne started every class with a smile and positivity. She was always willing to give things a try and to help others in class do their best along with her best effort. She not only has been amazing and AVID, she's also been super involved in school as a part of show choir, student council, link crew, and more. Cheyenne, your positive attitude, willingness to work hard, and kindness towards other is going to take you far in life. I can't wait to hear about your next steps. Julie Lee. Good evening. My name is Ai Yang. I'm a social studies teacher at NOR. What an honor it has been to know Julie Lee these past four years as a student and as an ASA board member. Julie is the epitome of what an exemplary student should be. She is kind, intelligent, hardworking, resilient, and has great organizational skills. That it comes as no surprise that she has earned this award for achievement. Julie, congratulations on this award. Continue to strive for excellence, have fun, and keep smiling. To the other award recipients, Congratulations and best wishes as you embark on a new chapter. Timothy Lee. Hello everyone, my name is V. I am the owner of Hello Boba and Wabi Lake. I have the privilege of witnessing Timothy Lee's remarkable journey as my current employee at Hello Boba. He is one of my best employee. He consistently show all of the ability to collaborate and to lead in all the aspects of his job, his unwavering achievements, boundless courage, and vivid imagination have left me truly inspired. So I was very happy to hear that he is nominated for the Award of Excellence. So to Timothy Lee and all of the 2024 Award of Excellence recipients, May your futures shine as brightly as your potential. Keep pushing boundaries, keep dreaming big, and congratulations on your well-deserved success. Thank you. Tyler Lohr. Timothy Maher. Hi, I'm Jim Honda. I'm here to talk a little bit about Tim Marr. I can't help but smile. Tim brings so much joy into my classroom. I actually get joy having him there. He brings the class together. He's a community builder. He asks questions that other kids don't necessarily feel comfortable in asking. And he asks good questions. He does a great job of bringing the community together. And Tim, congratulations. Hannah McGuire. Hello, my name is John Chaplin, and I have the honor of being Hannah McGuire's uh, mentor for our Awards of Excellence. I've known uh, Hannah since seventh grade, where I was her math teacher back at Maplewood Middle School. Hannah was always a uh, student that was full of positive energy and uh, willingness to learn new things. Um, Hannah's got some wonderful attributes that uh, are important for her. She uh, is one of those people that truly loves to share her ideas with others. 
and she's somebody that uh, is always there as a positive friend and somebody that's going to move you in the positive directions. I would like to send my best wishes to Hannah on a successful college career. And uh, my advice would be is please stick with all the wonderful things that you're doing right now, reaching out when you need help, uh, working with your close friends to make sure that you're all moving in a great direction. Uh, I know that you've got a wonderful support system and that you will continue to do excellent things as you move on. Thank you. Natalie Morrison. Congratulations, award of excellence recipients. You deserve this. My name is Amy Kais and I am so honored to celebrate Natalie Morrison tonight for all of her accomplishments. Natalie, you have inspired me since the day I met you back at John Glenn in middle school language arts. You are compassionate, smart, kind, hardworking, driven, and show up for everybody in every way. I am honored to know you, and I know you're going to continue to change the world. Nazira Muhammad. Hi, I'm Melanie Meyer, and I've known Nazira Muhammad for two years. I've been her advisor and math teacher at 622 Online and I'm recognizing her today for her resilience. Nazira, I'm so proud of you. My advice to you and all students recognized today um, is to remember to ask for help. And when you get tired, learn to rest, but not to quit. Congratulations. Owen Nayachi. Hello, my name is Mr. Drummond, assistant principal here at North High. Um, taking this opportunity to talk about Owen. Uh, what I most admire about Owen is his um, desire to make everyone feel welcome and be a part of a community. Um, he's a part of our Black Student Union and that is what he brings to our group, is making everyone feels welcome and supported. My advice to this group is, um, you know, continue to shine, uh, be in spaces where you are highlighted and supported and celebrated. Best wishes to you all. Madeline Peterson. Hi, my name is Patty Neck, and I know Maddie Peterson through the Church of St. Peter in a group called the Servants of the Cross. One of Maddie's greatest attributes is the attribute of courage. I'd like to give you some advice, Maddie, and that is this. Stay true to yourself and to the truth, and remember that love conquers all. God bless you and good luck in everything you do. Alexander Polinchek. My name is William Moore and I was a soccer coach for Alex Polinchek. They say the true test of character and integrity is how you show up when things are less than ideal. Alex showed up in impeccable fashion. If I could give any life advice for the award recipients, it's however improbable, nothing is impossible, and it's there are no real losses in life. There are only lessons and experiences. Have a great evening and congratulations to all the award recipients. Gabe Roars. Hello, my name is Jason Lund. I'm the North High baseball coach. I nominated Gabe Roars for the Award of Excellence for Achievement, Resiliency, and Community Service. As a member of the North High baseball program, Gabe has went through multiple trials on the baseball field and has served his community through playing American Legion baseball and honoring our veterans on Memorial Day, putting out flags at different grave sites for those veterans and serving a great cause. Vivian Roars. Hi, I'm Scott Sturm and I've had the pleasure of teaching Vivian Roars this year in my physics class. Vivian has shown exceptional achievement and creativity in her academic life. In addition to completing her own work, Vivian has regularly found time to help other students gain understanding that has come so naturally to her. Vivian and all award recipients, keep working towards your dreams. Joseph Rylicky. Hi guys, my name is Stephanie. Um, I know Joe by he's I was his manager, and Joe is such a hardworking, dedicated person. And I want to thank him for choosing me as his mentor, and I want to congratulate him and all the recipients for the award. Gracie Schaefer. 
Hi, I'm Emily Bennell, a band teacher in ISD 622. I'm also assistant director of Fusion Drumline and United Marching Band, where I've had the pleasure of knowing and coaching Gracie Schaefer for the past two years. Gracie is a dedicated musician, fierce leader, and stand-up citizen. She models kindness and thoughtfulness in all her interactions with her peers and demonstrates strength and integrity in all she does. I wish you the best of luck in the future, Gracie. Oskarami Semkoff. Hi, my name is Kylie Davis. I'm a social worker at North High School. I have known Oscar Ami Semka for about two years. One of her most amazing attributes to me is her strength and her courage. She understands the value in connecting with others. Even when she knows it might be a challenge, she still does it anyway. She's a very talented performer and she, an artist, and she does everything with extreme grace. My advice for you is to always believe you are your best self. Ask for help when you need it. You are brighter and stronger and more capable than you know. Quinn Smith. Hi, my name is Eric Berg. I'm an art teacher, and I know Quinn Smith from Skyview Middle School way back in sixth and seventh grade. Uh, Quinn was nominated for the uh, specific characteristic of courage, which definitely makes sense, as they were willing to uh, take some artistic risks and learn some new things and ended up uh, producing some really great artwork. And uh, Quinn, I wish you all the best. I hope that everything goes well for you and that you enjoy what you're moving on to next. Good job. Jack Sonic. Hi, my name is Kim Alswager and I have been Jack Sonic's choir director for the past four years. Jack, you are truly one of a kind. You are one of the kindest people I've ever met. You help make choir and everywhere you go a safe space where people can be exactly who they are. You're so courageous, resilient. I'm so proud of you and everything that you've accomplished and overcome. I also wanted to say thank you for the memories. I will miss seeing you every day and laughing at silly videos, talking about the newest Pokemon game, seeing your latest amazing pottery creation. I will forever have Togepi displayed, by the way, or just hitting high notes and doing choreo. Thank you for the music, the memories, and the laughs. And I can't wait to see what you accomplish in the future. James Stark. Hello, my name is Steve Stark. My nephew is James Stark. Today I want to recognize James for his great achievements both academically and athletically, all while doing this with a high level of integrity. James, good luck for your future, have a great time in college, work hard, and maintain those high standards. Pajau Tao. Hi, my name is Pather Lau. Pajau Tao is one of my upper bound students. Her biggest strength is being resilient. No matter what she encounters, she stays optimistic and does not give up easily. She took on leadership roles such as being president of Asian Student Association and secretary of National Honor Society. I'm proud of Pajal. Congrats to all 2024 Award of Excellence recipients. Best wishes to you all as you embark on your next journey. Ms. Stira Tiamio. Hi, I'm Heidi. I've had the privilege of knowing Ms. Dura since she was in seventh grade. We met through a youth program. Since the moment that I met Ms. Dura, she was always a high achiever, but did so with courage and resilience, compassion towards all, and just always so kind. If you all can hold on to these characteristics that you have been gifted with, you will all go so, so far, even when life gets hard. Congratulations. Brianna Wallstrom. Hi everybody, my name is Erin Naughton and I've been selected to be Brianna's mentor this evening. Brianna, since we met in your 10th grade year, your creativity, imagination, and integrity have only continued to thrive. You face your challenges head on and you're never afraid to ask for help, which is such an admirable quality and you should be proud of yourself for having that. I cannot wait to see what the future holds for you because I know you're going to do big, amazing things. And anytime you want to come back and visit, you need someone to root for you. Just know that I am always here in your corner and I'm proud of everything that you have done. To the rest of you award recipients, congratulations. You should be proud of your accomplishments because I know I am proud of you. Julie Jean. Hi, I'm Mr. Hammerman. I'm here to honor Julie Jean and all of her achievements within the band and academic world. Julie, you have been invaluable to our program. I don't know if words will do it justice, so I think I need to prove your worth to our community through music. Congratulations to you and all the other 622 Foundation Awards recipients. Onwards and upwards.
Stephanie Zhang. Hi, I'm Krista Finstead Hansen. I'm the English teacher at 622 Online High School. I'm here to honor Stephanie Zhang for achievement. She is an excellent student and very conscientious. I see good things for her. Congratulations to all of you. You are our future. You are here to repair the world. Good luck to you. Ashley Yang. Hi, my name is Deborah Kane, and I teach AVID 12, and that's where I met Ashley Yang. Um, Ashley is an incredible human, and one of the things that is so admirable about Ashley in terms of achievement is that she took true control over her own education, found programs and training programs that she completed while continuing to do high school at the high academic levels that she did. Congratulations, Ashley. I wish you all the best. Iris Yang. Good evening. I'm Senior Master at Wilkinson. I'm one of the Air Force Junior ROTC instructors here at North High. It's my pleasure to recognize Cadet Iris Yang for her selection for the Award of Excellence tonight. Integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all we do. Those just happen to be the Air Force core values and also the reasons that Iris was selected for this Excellence Award tonight. So I just want to take a moment to congratulate Iris and all awarded winners and to wish you the best of luck in your future. Jailia Yang. Hi, Melissa Mandel from North High School and I'm here with Jailia tonight. I've had the pleasure of having Jailia in my classes for the past three years. Jailia has achieved so much at such a young age. She effortlessly balanced academics with extracurriculars, excelling at anything she put her mind to. I'm confident that her accomplishments will only continue to grow as she pursues her dreams. Congratulations, Jailia, on all that you've achieved. Best wishes to you and all of the recipients tonight. Alara Yenner. I'm Stephanie Blanda and I've had the honor and privilege of being a coach and mentor to Alara Yenner over the years. While well, I believe she deserves all the categories, resilience and achievement are huge. Alara, your spirit and attitude that you bring around everyone every day allows them to be more resilient and that says something about you. As you go forward on your journey, remember to enjoy the process. There are no roadblocks, only speed bumps, and remember it's never I can't, only I'll try. Congratulations, Alara, we only had 30 seconds. I'm so proud of you. Well, that's a pretty impressive group. How about a round of applause for all the seniors? We'd also like to recognize our mentors. Maybe if we turn on the lights, Mr. Hammerman, and if our mentors in, that are in the room could stand up and say hi. Thank you. Thank you to all of our Award of Excellence mentors for sending in your self-directed and self-produced heartfelt video tributes to your students. Thank you to our selection committee for reading through all of those fabulous nominations, and thank you again to all who nominated this wonderful group of individuals. Our event this evening could not happen without North's phenomenal staff, Nita Bruins, and the tech team tonight, Mr. Hammerman, helping with sound and lights. We greatly appreciate your support. We also want to thank SEC Channel 19 for broadcasting our virtual event this year. Our program tonight will also be rebroadcast. Please see the program for more details. This event tonight would not be possible without our generous Award of Excellence donors. The Award of Excellence donations go towards the 15 500 educational grants that we will draw shortly. The 622 Education Foundation would like to take a moment to recognize the Award of Excellence grant funders who have donated $500 or more to our program tonight. The 622 Superintendent's Cabinet, Nan Fransworth Drews and Paul Drews, Pam and Doug Huntley, Marilyn Hobbs, Janet and Tom Jacobson, Kari Johannesson and John Sirenhaus, Becky Nevy, North St. Paul's High School Administration staff, as well as North St. Paul Maplewood Oakdale Education Association, Premier Banks, the Rotary Club of North St. Paul Maplewood Oakdale, and the Uplift Training Gym, Karen Schleicher. See all of our generous donors, Award of Excellence donors listed in your program and on our website. 
All right, Kathy Seaford, would you please come on up here? Kathy is co-president with me, and we're going to get in to the, um, the process of pulling out the award winners here. So again, thanks to our generous donors, we're going to draw 15 $500 education grants. And all of the recipients that filled in the form were in the drawing here tonight. So if your name is drawn, please come on up to collect the grant winner letter. Come on up here on the stage and we'll give you the letter and we'll have you take a seat, okay? So a little bit of a drum roll, please. Gia Foster. Graham Freeman. <laughs> Number three, Annabelle Carlson. <laughs> Four, Timothy Maher. Five, Casina Alderson. <laughs> Number six, Lauren Collins. Seven, Gracie Schaefer. Eight, Madison Lampy. Nine, Julie Zong. Della Dum Dumne. <laughs> Eleven, Aviso Abasofe. <laughs> Twelve, Emilio Alvarez. Thirteen, Casey Hanlon. Fourteen, Cheyenne Lee. Last grant drawing. Is Pazab Tao. Before we end our program, we would like to invite all of our Award of Excellence recipients on stage tonight for a big group photo. So if you could please come and join us. But first, we'll just quick grab a picture of the grants. All right, the camera's right in the back of the room. Back there, she's waving, sorry. <laughs> All 
All right, great. And if all the recipients tonight are award, award of excellence, please come and join us up on stage for the end here. Yeah, come on up, everyone.